there's a growing um, sort of interest out there to to make you make yourself feel better, to make yourself look better. It'd be interesting to see what my hair would be like if I hadn't had the last, what is it, 10, 15 years of treatment. Um, obviously not as, as good as it's looking now. I first realised, obviously, when you, you play football and the camera can be overhead and you can see the top of your head, you know, there's no hiding place. With longer hair and you're thinning a little bit, it just looks even even worse. It just makes it more, you, you know, people more aware of it. So that's when I felt that, you know, the shorter my hair was, the thicker it looked. So, um, yeah, that had a big bearing on gradually over the years, my hair getting shorter and shorter. I just didn't know anything about the treatment, what it would entail, um, you know, what I would have to do. Would it interfere with my football? You know, would it be a lot? Was it was it time consuming? All these things that I looked into, there wasn't really a lot to do other than just sit under the machine and, and like I say, use the product. So for me, at the beginning, it was really convenient and I also seen a big change. You can get a bit impatient that you expect some results straight away. Um, and I got told, you know, gradually after a few months, you would notice a difference. And I did, and it wasn't just me that noticed the difference, you know, watching it on TV. It was other people, really, um, commenting on it. You know, have you had something done to, to your hair? You know, have you had a transplant? Because everyone knew about transplants, but um, I hadn't. All I just had was the, the lamp, sitting under the lamp and the serum and um, the shampoo and the different things um, that helped it along. The original treatment that I'd had um, had worked initially, but then I just felt it just needed a little bit more of, of a push and this was the right way to go. So again, I did my homework, did the same. I've known Craig um, for a long time, uh, so I trusted him first and foremost. I've given him the right information. And um, yeah, I think we'd been talking about it or he'd suggested it before that. So it was always in my mind, but yeah, when I did have it done, just questioned him as much as I could. Obviously, he put my mind at rest, you know, um, what the procedure would entail. You have to have your hair cut really short, you know, down to more or less a zero for, the, um, for them to get the, the hair out as best they can and then to, to replant it. It was more or less half a day. Um, so, yeah, they numb the, the areas where you're going to feel it. So it's a bit of a strange feeling. You're awake during it, can't really th feel anything. You have rest during it if you want. Obviously you've got a little bit of, sc not scarring, but just a few cuts in the back of your head. So you wake up in, in the morning, there's a bit of blood on your pillow for a couple of days, then that goes. That's it really, no pain. You don't know how people are gonna um, sort of react to you having it done. You know, we just talked about we get your mick taken out of a joke, keep constantly bringing it up, and none of that really happened, really. But then after that, you just have to keep up with going to the lamp, having the, the various serums and um, tablets that you have to have. It's good to, every month or so, just get a, an update, see how it's going, take a picture of the area wherever you're having done, and then you can see real progress. So you've got something to go back on. You're not really seeing the full results until probably a year. You know, after a few months, you're seeing something happen, but um, yeah, after, after a year or so, I was, I was really pleased. The only negative that I have is that I didn't do it earlier. For anyone who's, who's got any doubts or, um, yeah, just listen to my experience and if that helps you then, then great.